sedulur lah kita nak baju dia
4G YTL network which is 4G innovation network and it's actually the latest uh, innovation to the mobile router and also the YES network simultaneously. First, there is also for the cement manufacturing, construction, contracting and also property development. For cement manufacturing, we have used the alternative of fuels and energy sources to mitigate the effects of increases in conventional level. And for the construction contracting, we have also installed the construction <coughs> of new central KTM station which has the remarkable, um, amazing layout uh, in the city. And the property development is in Puchong, which is Lake H, has already launched by 2010, and Pavilion Terraces, which is consists of two and a half story homes units. There is also hotel development and management, and also IT and e-commerce. For hotel management, there is a um, development in Singapore, which is Kasara, the lake, and also <coughs> Sandy Island, which consists of apartments and also the Real Estate Investment Trust which consists of the prime retail shopping centre in China and Perth, Australia. For the IT and e-commerce, there is also for YES 4G mobile internet which consists of the fastest speed. The corporate events we have involved in the Earth Hour 2011, the launch of 800 megawatt coal generation combined cycle plant which is in Parker, CNBC Corporate Social Responsibility Award 2010, we received that award. And another award which is HAPA Lifetime Achievement Award for Hospitality Developer of the Year. And for the Corporate Social Responsibility Programs, we have YES Transforms the University Science Malaysia into full 4G campus which has fastest limited of internet connection and there is also broadband info vision awards 2011 we received the best new service award for yes 4g network and contribution to accim social economic research center by 1 million and also 500,000 pounds in donation to Kingston university for further research let's move on to the income statement For the year 2011, the revenue is 18 billion 354 and then it was increased by <coughs> uh, what is increased by sorry 11.21 percent and then we have, uh, cost of sale is also increased for the reporting to 0.263 billion. The gross profit is 4 billion. Then it was increased for from the previous year. Again, other operating income also increased, uh, increased on that year, and then the selling and distribution cost was uh, increased by 200 uh, 280 million, and then the administration expenses was increased uh, to 947 million. And then the other operating expenses is 206 billion. And then the finance cost for that year was increased from the previous year to 1 billion, 51, or 5.3. And then it was the increase also in <coughs> shares of profit associate company and jointly controlled entities. And then you can see the increase of the profit before tax, there is 2.3 billion. And then the, we are spending less in that year for the income tax um, by uh, 5.16 million. And then the profit for the year was also increased to 1.8 million. So for this year, we are paying the higher uh, dividend for each shareholders. That is 2 cents for each ordinary shares at price of uh, 10 cents per share. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's go to the ratio analysis. So for the current ratio, uh, we can see that for uh, 2011 uh, we have 1.31 times. That is the 
increase from the previous year, 1.90 times, is showing that YTL Corporation still have the great assurance that their current liability will be paid. Okay, for the quick ratio, okay, it also decreased one to one point two six times compared to the previous year, that is one point eight eight times. It is also a uh, okay quick ratio. Okay, this ratio include those most uh, those asset mostly convertible to cash. So for YTL corporations, quick quick ratio shows that. Uh, uh, their assets still, still fast in converting to cash even though they decreased from the previous year and then for the debt ratio okay YTL corporation has better performance in 2011 because the debt is decreased from the previous year and for the return on asset we can see the, the, the increase of return on asset it is major the productivity of the asset of YTL corporation we proceed to the return on equity. Okay, you can see the increasing from the previous year to 14.64 percent. That's indicate uh, the higher uh, ROE is the better for the company performance. And then for the net profit margin, okay, net profit margin was uh, less uh, compared to the uh, previous year 2010. It is 18.54 compared to 19.8. It is due to the increase of cost of sales. Okay, and then, okay, uh, the decrease, uh, okay, the increase cost of sales is in terms of the increase of cost of inventories during that particular year, and then the increase of the property development cost that is from 342 billion to 535 billion. So it was a big amount. So that was the main contributor to the increase of cost of sale of that year. Okay. And then the total asset turn turnover. Okay, for the year 2011, the asset total, turn uh, total asset turnover is 0 0.38 times. And this indicates that the total asset being, is being turned around by 0 0.38 times in year 2011. And then for inventory turnover, Okay, for 2011, inventory turnover is 21.96 times compared to 20.36 times in 2010. So, the increase, okay, it was, we can see the, the increase from the previous year. Okay, this is because, okay, uh, it is because of the increase of few factors uh, in our company that is a property help for sale so uh, there was increase in the property help for sale for example let's say we have house and then we need time to uh, complete it or to sell that house and then we have the increasing the amount of finished goods also the increasing in numbers of work in progress that is infrastructure project still under construction and then it is also because of increase in raw material and spare part price it is due to our current economic crisis that affected from the global economic crisis. Okay. okay, let's move on to the DuPont analysis. Okay, you can see that <coughs> ROE was increased from 2010 to 14.64%. Okay. Although the cost of financing of YTL Corporation Berhad was increased from 30.53% in 2011 to 30.9% in, in 2010 and then 30.9% uh, in 2011, okay, the activity effect, uh, effect showing that in year 2011, total asset is being turned around faster than year 2008 by 0.8. 36 times compared to the 0.35 times, but profit margin is decreased by 0 from 0.5% uh, uh, from the previous year. Profit margin. Again, sorry, uh, we have a little bit uh, type, uh, type of error. Actually, uh, you should you think about it, your gross profit margin? Gross profit. Is it uh, calculation? Yes, for 
can draw from it billion okay have been the type ever tak dia dia it is not 10 billion tu Yes, 3.761 Type 11 Okay So the percentage Yes, okay. the percentage is correct So we can see that from the DuPont analysis ROE has significant increase uh, of 14.64% for the previous year due to, to the reduce of the tax rate during 2011. That is, and during 2011, uh, the, tax, the tax effect is, uh, the tax rate is 21.94% compared to the previous year, that is 28.94%. Okay. Wait, uh, I think your interest tu suspect sikit lah Cuba tengok balik the interest Financing cost tu 30% ke? Yes 30% Yes, the interest rate is 21.94% Compared to the previous year Because that is a, that I have a very important implication, Maria. The company is uh, having 30% financing costs. And the company has got high leverage. That's why the uh, financing cost is 1 billion. Mungkin kalau kita tengok what are the form of loans that they took me yeah. then we will see maybe I suspect that this could be intercompany loan for, for 2011 they are actually uh, have issued the bonds uh -huh. that is going to be expired in 2011 and 2015 so they are using uh, the bond is that I think the, the amount is 200 million so they are using 200 million to pay for the previous um, uh, bond uh, that uh, we mentioned on 2011, 2011. so <coughs> I think uh, maybe that that's the one of the factors that increase the financing cost you uh, other a uh, set of uh, your and no report for 2011 too. In your name, should we go to balance sheet? No. Balance sheet. Okay. Start on the on the screen. Beli. Oh. Ada. Oh, balance sheet ada. Tidak ada. Ada. No report. Ada. No report. We have. We just put the income statement. Ah, no report. Okay.
Borrowing ni ada long term, ada non current, ada current. But if we could go to the notes, to the account though, on the borrowing thing, now note 34. Just scroll on your. Okay. Ah. You got note 34. We have 10 loans. We have reported loans. Ah, okay, okay. is uh, the one billion the one billion um, finance cost rate. Should we begin note five? Why we should be concerned here is because the normal interest rate is like maximum 8%, mm -hmm. but this is 30%. And here, Mananya, the company is spending 30% of their profit to pay interest. Um, Mananya, the company is very high geared now. Um, This is okay, a classic case of uh, kita panggil the uh, high leverage company. Yeah. Whether they are really doing well is later on. But the question I think. Allow you. Okay, let's go back to your deep point. For the year 2011, the, the, the ratio is 1.10, and then for the 2010, the ratio is 1.15. So both indicate that uh, indicate that YTL Corporation has a very high profitability of insolvency. It is because compared to the, as we look at the for five years financial highlight, starting from 2009, they are having the very very low revenue, and then it will affect all the sector. And I think this may be because of the implementation of the uh, 4Gs in Malaysia. So during uh, 2009, they have a lot of development projects that has uh, just launched in 2011. Uh, for example, we have project in France and Japan that is new results. So that's uh, in terms of the property development project, they have few projects going to be launched soon. So I think that's most of the reason why they are having a very bad uh, outcome in this score. Because uh, four and five years back, the, their uh, outcome ratio is very good. Okay. Oh, you, you had to calculate the uh, ratio before. What was it uh, before? Uh, three something. Yeah. Uh, uh, but starting from 2009, they are 0.9 something. Because uh, 1.1 is very critical. Yeah. Actually, the company can be a good candidate for yeah. uh, bankruptcy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the third consecutive year that the higher thing less than 1.8 score. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, and also like, let's look at the cost volume for analysis. Uh, for 2011, uh, their break even point is at 11.1 million, and for 2010, the break even point is 9.4 million. Okay, in this case, the increase of over overhead by 15.94 percent from two from year 2010 was quite drastic for the YTL corporation. It is showing uh, it is showing of the increasing uh, of the burden to the company. And then now YTL need to sell 11.1 billion to achieve break even compared to year 2010. That is, they have to sell only 9.4 billion to achieve, to achieve the break even. So uh, it is more risky to manage the company because uh, the profitability of losing money is become higher in 2011. So that's all. Tak kira the safety margin, eh? Safety margin. Tapi uh, uh, tapi cuba safety margin is about uh, uh, now 18 mil 18 billion kan? 18 billion, maybe 40 percent. Yeah? Sensitive margin. Okay, lah. Okay. Uh, very uh, important. You have highlighted uh, a few things. Number one is the uh, high cost of financing. Number two, the outbound ratio that is varying. Yeah. And number three, the the overhead increased by fifteen percent, yeah. and that's uh, actually undermined the long term viability of the company, lah. Right. Open for question. Who want to start? question uh, when we take a look about your company is grow very well actually my first question is what your YTL corporation will have for the next flight in the future because um, actually um, for this moment we can see and take a look about your company is grow very very well that's about the first question and then the second question is about the directors of company. When we take a look back about the directors of the company, what actually is direct interest? That's all. Okay, let me answer the first question first, which is the futures plan. And as we know that we are currently developing a, a major that construction development in Japan and Australia with the Wessex uh, water and also in um, Japan and also Australia. So there is a major development there and we are expected to launch them by 2011, 2030. So we expect a higher profit with, with the launch of the construction uh, development. And also there is um, a hotel management and development. We are currently do our best to improve the status of the hotel development group, which is um, now we expand to France and also uh, Thailand. Because there is, uh, instead of in Malaysia, we also would like to have um, increased the profits in other countries as well, which has the high possibility of population of the tourists. And the second question, which is the directors, uh, direct interest, Hotel Aussie. I guess, right? Okay, for the direct interest, actually that interest is charged directly from the uh, income that the company uh, do. For example, uh, let's say they are making 2 billion revenue and then they have uh, 
they have to pay the interest directly that in in the certain department or certain cost that they have to bear. Uh, so I think that that is direct interest. No, direct interest here. They, I think uh, the shareholder wants to know what is the shareholding, shareholding. of the direct oh, interest. Oh, oh, okay. Direct interest to okay. <laughs> Kalau you look at the list of shareholders di belakang
Ah, this is holding. Page 81. Page 81. This one. Ah, okay, Baba. Sweetie, like this holder too? Okay, okay. So, there you see. Total pay up tadi, total pay up is um, 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 Number of share, okay. For the numbers of share, before this number ah, okay, of okay, share. Okay. Because uh, now the share has been split down into 10 cents. Cent mm -hmm. uh, so the 952 million, million, million. is in ringgit. Yeah. In ringgit eh? So actually it is 9.5 billion share. Yes. So out of 9.5 billion, 3.7 billion yes. are owned by the family. So this is a family company now, basically. Family business. Family business. Family business. the list of shareholders kita boleh tengok that this company ni is very difficult to to take over yeah. because uh, maknanya the single shareholder is owning 41% and then the next biggest is 8% yes. so if we were to gather everybody mm -hmm. to go against a major shareholder is very difficult almost impossible maknanya. The 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 major shareholder the most 18.7.1919 percent of the shares. So the rest is for the public. Should we take the up up to the analysis? Okay, percent and above four shareholders. Four shareholders for 5.8 billion. And these four shareholders could be, could well be the Yo Tiong Lai family yes. through the nominee and so on. Right? We definitely see that the board of directors also the family of Yo Tiong Lai. The Lai is there. Okay, next question. Thank you for the question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
to answer the question is actually YTL Corporation is not only involved in the construction as well, but it also involved in the hotel management, the hotel development, and as well as uh, utilities. And the IT and e-commerce is actually a late, the latest invention that we uh, invented because um, for nowadays we knew that the technology is very important. And with uh, in Malaysia, there is no more, there is no any uh, 4G network distribution. So we would like to take this opportunity to be the pioneer to introduce the 4G network. And this is actually we will encourage the um, the recipients and the, the citizens of Malaysia will choose to take the 4G because it is actually the now existing is 3G. The 4G is much faster and then um, the uh, coverage we are currently developing it and currently there is also in Penang and every, uh, every state in Malaysia. And currently in 2012 we are um, has installed 4G in um, the latest Proton Preview. So this is actually one of the opportunity for us to increase instead of marketing and also increase the profit. Instead of we only uh, depends on the construction as well. Because the construction is actually has larger costs compared to the utility and IT. Thank you. Is there any question? So since your company is about 4G, right? Nowadays in Malaysia, 4G is still behind of time due to that. People with normal income don't have the don't have the money to pay for the bill for the 4G. <coughs> so example that you put your 4Gs inside cars, uh, the bottom pay pay. Obviously there will be a charge, right? Using 4G. So, how can you get more customers? Because you say the construction for the policy is also expensive. But construction is expensive, the problem is not that 3G is still higher than 4G, it's that the cost. And Malaysia's normal employees of 14 days, their income is not high. They will use 4G unless if they're working in the business. So how will you implement 4G to the local people? Okay. Actually, in Malaysia, the current network that we have, okay, is charged uh, based on the fixed lines. So we have the monthly uh, payment for the bill. So uh, to invent this technology, for the consumer that use 4G, they have to pay based on what they are using only. So this is the way how the company help the consumer to reduce the uh, the bills that they have to pay every month. So I think it is very uh, re reasonable because let's say every day, uh, if, uh, let's say in a day, we just use for two hours internet and then we, ha uh, we, ca we have to only pay for the two hours. So even though uh, every, uh, every day or in a month we have used internet every day, but it, it depends on how much the bikes or is it how much the speed. The, the speed that you use? It's not depend on the uh, uh, bill. It's not a uh, charge fixed. And actually, our tech mine is also pay as you use. You use yes. It is not actually we are charging you. If you are not using it, we are not charging you at all. This is accounting class. <laughs> <laughs> For, us, um, for our marketing distribution, for example, uh, we have installed a 4G 
yes, cute in uh, the city area, which is located in Lot 10, in front of Lot 10 shopping center. And there is also a 4G cute there, so that there is actually one of the major places that will be uh, visited by the tourists as well as the Malaysians. And there is one of the strategy of marketing so that we can uh, distribute it by the city itself. But however, for the distribution of marketing, we are currently has launched in USM and also uh, in Pinay and, uh, and Kedah. So this is actually a wide distribution has been launched and we'll keep on moving to develop more because this is actually just launched by 2000, end of 2010. And we have the projection of the project is the duration is for five years, and currently we are developing it. So right now there's only three major places. So let's say if you expand more than the other places in Asia, which is 13 countries, 13 countries, 13 countries so the cost of construction will increase. As the cost of construction increase, will your payments towards the customers increase? No. Because currently, we are, all of the bases are have the uh, coverage. Just that the major cities have the better, the faster speed of coverage. And for right now, we have already installed with uh, all of the states in Malaysia. And currently, we are uh, developing it. Assalamualaikum. Uh, in terms of the um, YTF pay for dividend per share or dividend per ordinary share is increased in 2011 and that any per share will be increased too in uh, 2011. But when we analyze the 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 leverage of the YTL this is so high. Do you think that the YTL be sustained for three or three or two years uh after that? <laughs> <laughs> because of uh, YTL have high of leverage. But you still can pay the high of dividend and you you still um spend for the growth. Do you think that your company is was sustainable for a few days, a few yes. years. Yes. Okay, in terms of dividend payments, okay, actually what we are paying to our shareholders because we are appreciate them. So in in order to make them uh, in order to make them is uh, sustain in our company. So we are promise we are giving them that. The, 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 the return back of their investment that they think they will spend it they will uh, they will uh, invest in our company that is one way how we keep our shareholders to sustain it invest in our company so in terms of the uh, in terms of how many years that they will uh, in this in this industry I think they will go further since for now they are having a lot of development, they are doing the infrastructure project, so they are in the still in the growth, so I think they have the better future. In terms of the, uh, compared to the revenue, revenue, is it, you say, okay, they have uh, making less revenue, but, borrowing. but, what you say here? Borrowing. Borrowing, okay. The borrowing is because of the payment of, for the interest, actually for the bonds and that so uh, at the maturity they will be able to pay back the bonds uh, because they have they can cover it from the other development project that they will uh, they are complete. yes com they are going to complete that so uh, they are also have uh, increasing their revenue uh, no the retained earning so uh, they have uh, Let's say <coughs> if they liquidate the written earnings and then into the cash, they can use it for the growth of the company. <laughs> In <Okay>. term <Okay. laughs> <Okay. laughs> of uh, which sector are you focusing for to, to get the more revenue? Which sector? Which sector? Okay, let's 
inclusive quarter here, we are making revenue in four major sectors. That is power generation, water, cement operation and overseas property development projects. This because uh, uh, in the overseas property development project, we just launched a new uh, resort at Japan and France. So in future, as we have a lot of uh, development projects, after completed this project, I think we can get more revenue from this sector, especially instead of the white, we have successfully uh, have the YTL cement, and uh, also, uh, also we are expanding our cement, uh, YTL cement into the Indonesia. That so, so, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> so that's the uh, that's the core activities that we are focusing. And we'll uh, attribute it to the revenue we have. Okay, actually, to help that uh, study, Kalau if you look at the equity section of the balance sheet, okay. they have uh, over 9 billion written earnings. And these written earnings are amounts that can be paid out as dividend. Yes. And they pay 2 cents dividend. Uh, 2 cents dividend on the uh, uh, 9.5 billion shares. Yes. Jadi kalau 2 cents of 9.5 billion is berapa tu? Uh, uh, one, one hundred and ninety. Yeah, only one hundred and ninety yeah. million per annum. Yeah. Cuma, of course, uh, if you look at the current asset of the company, actually YPL do not have much cash compared to other companies. Eh? Yeah. Uh, based on the size of the company, actually, they only have 760 million cash. So this is the constraint. Lah. And, uh, in future, they may not be able to pay dividend if they don't have enough cash. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the, the, the issue. Lah. Okay, maybe I will extend the question. In that, Tanya, on the, um, the, what is the share price now? One minute. Cuba uh, tengok the Bursa Malaysia ni. Kita tengok uh, what is the, the share uh, share price development over the last uh, the other five years kan? Five years, ten years. seven <coughs> for a ten cent share yes. it is very high. Money that is equivalent to seventeen ringgit now. Mm -hmm. uh, one ringgit one share. Ringgit. Sorry, eh? uh, kalau compare this company with Malaysia Airlines for example, <coughs> Malaysia Airlines per value they one ringgit. Mm -hmm. But now their share price is eighty five cent. Okay. This company is ten cent per value but the share price is one ringgit, seven, 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 seven. Cuba tengok the growth over the last five years. Are you back? Matakan, yes. So actually, it is increasing. Yeah? Um, but, maknanya for the company is paying 11 cent, oh sorry, is earning 11 cent earning per share yes. 11 cent per share, yes, share. when the <coughs> when the power value is only 10 cent they are earning 11 cent they are earning more than, more than the power value uh, of course uh, if you compare that to the share price the earning per share maybe is uh, Robert, uh, how many times uh, how many the, the share price what is the price earning ratio the ratio is eleven point two. Share price divided by earning per share. Share price is one point seven seven divided by point one one five three. Zero point one five. Fifteen times. Oh, okay. Fifteen times. Fifteen times, eh? So fifteen times some. 
15 times is uh, uh, so what is your target get the next year is this 15 times uh, reasonable or uh, do you have a specific uh, set set price target for next year can you work for five ringgit next year But actually, for a company uh, with a, a stature of company YTL, having a, a power value of 10 cents uh, will uh, lower their reputation because uh, because uh, then YTL will be seen as the apa dia panggil the um, uh, cheap stock. Okay. They should have kept the power value at uh, one ringgit, and the uh, share price would be about seventeen ringgit. Then they become uh, a blue chip. So, so for right now, YTL is considered a penny stock. Any last question? I think you can run up to close.